All right, so hey YouTube. So I just wanted to do like um, a second video about my bilateral orchidectomy. I mainly wanted to talk about, you know, the results of the surgery. So before I'd had my surgery, I was not on hormone replacement therapy. Reason being was I wanted to save all of my sperm before I have surgery. So I saved my sperm, then I had surgery. And after I'd had surgery a month later, I started um, hormone replacement therapy. And I started, um, you know, obviously with estrogen. My biggest fear was that I would have this surgery and I wouldn't even pass. That was my biggest fear. I was afraid that I was going to invest so much time and effort and I still would not be read as female. And this, you know, like, was such a huge stumbling block. But I really know that fear and delay, fear is a delay mechanism. It prevents you from having the good that you say that you want. I really think that it's important to take that first step even if you fall flat on your face. At least you're moving forward. You know what I mean? So I had the surgery and and then I went on hormone replacement therapy. Now my body changed incredibly. Before hormones and surgery, I was getting clocked on a daily. You know, I would just walk into a place. I, I wouldn't even have to tell people that I was transgender. People already could clock my tea just from just from looking at me. And I definitely had I wouldn't see like self-esteem issues, but but I definitely had a lot of anger. I was just so mad at how people would treat me based on the fact that, you know, like I looked more masculine. After the surgery, uh, my body started changing. I, I put on a lot of weight. I, I almost doubled in size. So I started getting hips and thighs and curves and like I got a butt and my boobs started growing. This was because, you know, I no longer had testosterone in my body, and I was using estrogen. Uh, my face started to fill up, and within three months, I noticed that less people were clocking me. Like, I, I'd go out, you know, to a nightclub, and, and guys started hitting on me, and that had never really happened in the past. And it was just such an overwhelming experience. It was so exciting. I, I remember one of my friends, who's also trans, she didn't have the bilateral orchidectomy. She had, um, she basically just went on hormone replacement therapy and used um, testosterone blockers. And she said that the first year since she started hormone treatment, hormone replacement treatment, was the best year of her life, you know. Nothing can truly, you know, like, express how happy you are when people just stop giving you shit for who you are. When you go into the world and people see you as you want to be seen, you know, my confidence definitely just exploded. And I'd say in about, like, at the four-month mark, my ego was kind of, like, you know, getting out of control. But uh, it was a journey because even after, like, a year of being on hormones and a year after surgery, you know, some people still will, will, you know, clock me and be like, oh, that's a transgender girl, or they'll ask me if I am. So, yeah, it, it is less than what it was before. I think the number of times that I get clocked has decreased by about 80%. So this definitely has... It's been a blessing for me. It's been a blessing for me. But 
you know, like we're all on this journey and we're all doing our very best um, based on where we are in transition. And what I want to say is that, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Just because you're pre-teen, pre-everything, doesn't mean you're less of a woman. It doesn't mean you're less important. It doesn't mean you're ugly. And it doesn't mean you're not going to reach your ultimate goal. Just love yourself as you journey on. And I promise you, as you continue to love yourself, as you continue to be patient yourself, towards yourself, as you continue to give yourself that love and acceptance you wish you could get from the other, from the rest of the world, you will see your life change. So take care of yourself, stay strong, and remember this is your journey and it's your journey alone. And you are doing the best that you can given the conditions of your life. Thank you for watching.